All right, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly demonstrate how you can find the midpoint between any two points without using the midpoint formula. Although we're still going to review the formula because it is based on what I'm about to show you. So let's start by finding the midpoint of the two red dots shown on the screen. Now, instead of memorizing a formula, let's start by figuring out what would be in the middle of the x values and what would be in the middle of the y values. So if we examine the x values of the two points shown on the screen, we can see that we have x values of 4 and 14. So when thinking about the term midpoint, we are really just asking what is in the middle of the two x values and what is in the middle of the two y values. So if we were to find the halfway point between 4 and 14 directly on our x-axis, the middle of 4 and 14 would be identified as 9. Because 9 is exactly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right of 4, and it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left of 14. So 9 is directly in the middle of 4 and 14. Now, to find the middle of any two values, all you really have to do is take those two values, add them together, and then divide by 2. So if we were to take 4 and 14 and add that, we would get 18. And 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. So 9 is directly in the middle of 4 and 14. Now we basically do the same thing for the y values. The two y values of the given points are 2 and 8. And the value that is directly in the middle of 2 and 8 is 5. 5 is 3 below 8, and 5 is 3 above 2. And once again, if we take those two values, 8 and 2, and add them together, and divide by 2, we would get 5. 8 plus 2 is 10, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. And that is where the midpoint formula comes from. You're just taking the two x values, adding them together and dividing by 2, and then you're taking the two y values, adding them together and dividing by 2. So to be more formal, let's go ahead and take our original coordinates and record them. So this point right here is located at positive 4, positive 2. And this point right here is located at positive 14, positive 8. So basically what we did is we took our two x values first, which are 14 and 4, and added them together. And we divided by 2. And then we took the two y values, 2 and 8, added them together, and then divided that result by 2. So for the x values, we have 18 divided by 2. And for the y values, we have 10 divided by 2. So the new x value would be located at positive 9, and the new y value would be located at positive 5. And as you can see, if we started at the origin and went to positive 9, and we went up 5, that would be the location of our new point, which is directly in the middle of this first point down here and this point up here. So if you ever kind of draw a blank as to what the midpoint formula is, just remember you're finding the value that's directly in the middle of your x values and the value that is directly in the middle of your y values. All right, now let's say that you don't have the benefit of a graph in front of you and all you have are a pair of coordinates. Let's examine what you would do in that situation. All right, now let's say you had to figure out the midpoint of a line that would be formed by connecting these two points. So if we take a look at negative 4 and negative 12, we might be able to mentally figure out what is directly in the middle of those two values. And what is directly in the middle of those two values would be negative 8. And the value that would be directly in the middle of our y values of positive 8 and negative 4 would be positive 2. Now, if you can't do that mentally, what we could do then is we could just take our x values first, which are negative 4 and negative 12 and add them together. So we're going to take negative 4 and add that to negative 12. And then we divide by 2. And then we do the same for our y values. So we take 8 and add that to negative 4. And we divide the result by 2. Now negative 4 and negative 12 is negative 16. And we have to divide that by 2. And a positive 8 and negative 4 is positive 4, and we have to divide that by 2. 
negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8. And positive 4 divided by 2 is equivalent to positive 2, which is the same result that I got when doing this mentally. Now, when you have negative numbers involved with your coordinates, it might be a little bit tougher to do it mentally, but it's still something that a lot of people can perform. And the way I kind of think about it is like, so we have negative 4 and negative 12 here, which are both to the left of 0. So I know that the distance between negative 4 and negative 12 is a distance of 8. Remember, distance is neither negative or positive. So I took that distance of 8 and cut it in half, which is 4. So what I did is I went to the left 4 of negative 4, which is negative 8. Or I went to the right of negative 12, 4, which is also negative 8. So I know for sure that there's a negative value right in the middle of negative 4 and negative 12 on the number line. Now with the y values, we have a positive value and a negative value. So we have one value that is below 0 and one that is above 0. So the total distance between these two values here is 12. So I know half of the distance of 12 is 6. So in my mind, I started at negative 4 and I went up 6, which I know would land me right at positive 2. So that is how I was able to determine the midpoint using some mental math. However, you shouldn't always rely on mental math, although I strongly encourage using mental math if you can do it. For the midpoint, you can just add the x's and divide by 2, and add the y's and divide by 2. All right, let's go ahead and do one more example. All right, let's start by trying to determine what would be directly in the middle of negative 7 and positive 6 on the number line. So negative 7 is 7 below 0, and positive 6 is 6 above. So the total distance between these two values is 13. So we have to take 13 and cut that in half, which would be 6.5 or 6.5. So I would start at negative 7, and I would go upwards towards positive 6, a distance of 6.5, which would leave me just half of a unit below 0. So I know that my x value is going to be negative 0.5. And for the y values, we have a value of positive 3 and a y value of negative 6. So the distance between this negative value and this positive value is a total of 9. So what we're going to do is cut that in half, which is 4 and a half. So if we start at 6 below 0 and we move to the right 4 and a half, that would leave us at a distance of negative 1.5. Now, just to verify this, we are going to use the distance formula. Although we're not going to be that formal today, we're not going to write out the whole formula. We're just going to take the x values of negative 7 and positive 6 and add them together and divide by 2. And then we're going to take the sum of the y values, positive 3 and negative 6, and divide that sum by 2 to see if my math up here was correct. So starting with negative 7 and positive 6, that would leave us with negative 1. And we have to divide negative 1 by 2, which is in fact equal to negative 0 0.5. Because remember, 0.5 as a decimal is equivalent to 1 half. So that one was pretty easy to do. And for the y values, we have 3 plus negative 6, which is negative 3. And negative 3 divided by 2 is equal to negative 1.5, which verifies the y value that I got up here. So remember, when finding the midpoint between any two points, all you're really doing is you're adding the x values and dividing the sum by 2, and you're adding the y values and dividing that sum by 2. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and activate notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.